Hey guys, didn't see you there. Just playing some Red Dead Redemption. Because as most of you will know, a M.2 SSD drive is very fast at writing and reading. But while you're doing that at full speed, they can get very very hot up to 100 degrees celsius but i'm not reading at full speed right now because i was gaming but it still is using the m.2 ssd drive for a very long time i've been playing red dead redemption 2 for more than three hours now let's see how hot it is with my thermal device here I will aim at the hottest point 48 degrees celsius 0.6 for my American friends that's 118.4 Fahrenheit so not that bad now a m.2 ssd drive does not give any advantages to uh, gaming itself uh, it does when you're installing it and maybe in loading times but really not that much and certainly it does not give you more uh, fps so if you're thinking of buying one just for gaming, it's not uh, really worth it. But for uh, faster search and copying files and reading and writing in Windows, it is worth it because it does not cut. It does not cost that much more than a normal SSD. But if it's purely for gaming then a normal SSD will do just fine and it will not get hot at all. Now a M.2 drive can get very hot very fast. I have a map of over 100 gigabyte with large and small files. Let's copy it at full speed. The temperature right now is 49 degrees. Let's start copying. Watch how fast. Over one gigabyte each second. All right, we're about one minute in here. Let's see how hot it is now. Fifty seven degrees. For my American friends, that's almost 136 Fahrenheit. Now, just at the end, it was just over 60 degrees Celsius. Now, if you have a M.2 drive or you are thinking of buying one, you're probably starting to panic right now. <laughs> But don't worry, it's really designed to get that hot. In fact, if you are thinking of cooling it, you will lose performance. Its ideal operating temperature is about between 45 and 65 degrees Celsius. But you are generating extra heat inside your PC. So if you don't need that speed, just take a normal SSD. Now a normal SSD would not get hot at all but it can only write at a maximum of four five hundred megabytes a second 
But what about a mechanical drive? I've never tested this. So it's not doing anything at all right now. And it is... Exactly 30 degrees Celsius. Or 86 Fahrenheit. Now, let's copy the same file to the hard drive. So it's copying the files for about 5 minutes now and look how slow it is against the M.2. We've come a long way. Let's see how hot it is. I'm very curious to see. Only 2 degrees up, almost 3. But it can be different depending on where you're aim is at the hard drive as you can see so it's actually pretty much the same and it will not get any hotter so mechanical drives don't get that hot Now, it's not only uh, writing files to the hard drive, it's also reading them from my M.2 drive. And it's been busy for about 7 minutes now. So let's see how hot it will be now. 53 degrees Celsius. So an M.2 drive does not get that hot when it's not riding at full speed but it's still hotter than a normal hard drive or a normal SSD. Okay so that was everything I wanted to show you. I hope you found this interesting. At least I did. So if you did please don't forget to give the video a like and maybe subscribe for more and you all have a nice day bye i'm going to play some more red dead redemption